So here we have heart to heart conversation, release your ex and reconciliation. So for some of you, this revisiting in your heart space or the regret or the lessons is has to do with the past energy. And obviously it has been. You have calling in your soulmate, yep, religious factor and codependency. And to me, this is future energy. So a lot of you still have this um, past energy that has um, resurfaced, an ex that has resurfaced. Reconciliation could just mean, because heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this could just mean that some of you may have had a dialogue with something from the past or something that's going to bring some closure because here we have call, calling in your soulmate. So there is an opportunity here to, to have closure and not and like understand the reasons and the lessons behind a past connection. And religious factor obviously is the change. It's your spiritual path. It's this refocus and transformation you've been undergoing codependency probably um, for a lot of you it's the energy of how again like asking you difficult questions of how these energies you've allowed these energies codependent energies i do remember one of your readings i think um i can't remember what week it was but it was balancing your masculine and feminine energy virgo where you have to um be the observer of how how others have consumed you and how you gave too much of yourself and i think um that for a lot of you that is something that definitely is resurfacing so let's see what else spirit has to add for this energy you know for some of you you may revisit this reconciliation with this person but others of you i feel um a need to really close a chapter because it's just been coming up um so we have power Leo energy, and we have love begins, ace of cups. Um, we have the star, which are obviously aligning, healing, aligning yourself to the star, but there's a new beginning here in love, obviously. Nine of cups, this is about your emotional fulfillment, something you want, but there is a discontent here. So your emotions, discontent, and boredom, four of cups. And Virgo, you have been in this thinking mode because we do have four of swords and the heart chakra and the tower wow and suffering in silence so this is this is what i'm saying 444 could be important for some of you and 444 is stability so there is a stabilization that's happening in your energy now and maybe revisiting some of these energies allows you to heal more your heart chakra it may or it may have shocked you or it may shock you first and then it may make you go through this nine of swords energy where you're like back into like this mental conflict within yourself but it's because it's now again the emotional information that i feel like it's coming up in this rest and rejuvenate you you it's still a rejuvenating energy in the sense where now you really get to see and ask yourself and again attest to you because Virgos, you guys have been a, been going through a test in my readings for some time. So let's see what the strength card is. Obviously, oh, we know what the strength card is, right? It's and it's really that other card where it's the Empress and the you know the Lion, right? So you building this courage, your voice, um, again knowing your value, and so this is about stability. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you have to restabilize in that energy that I'm saying that you're focusing on restabilizing your life um, and how increasing your value will change the trajectory of your life in terms of stability and taking ownership of that. Give me more on this Ace of Cups. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo. Aquarius here so far. So seven of wands, yep, building that courage, healing seven, um, the three of, of swords. And I feel, there we go, there goes that world. So seven of cups and the world. This is you really protecting um, your sovereignty in this queen of swords energy where, this is what I'm saying, your whole world, like some of you have, have, um, may have re ex are experiencing emotions about how your emotions allowing the interruption of your emotions take down your world meaning these beginnings or these um 
you know, these uh, broken relationships and relationships that never went anywhere has really take that, taken down you persevering in life and de destabilize. That's what I'm trying to say. Destabilize your life in ways where it interrupted other areas of your life. And so with the seven of wands, you're more protective of your energy of who you're going to start a relationship with. Love begins. And it's got to be someone who's going to really um, nurture a space where you feel like they're not going to, you know, disrupt your flow, your flow of life. Um, because stability is something you're focusing on, right? So get around this star. And, you know, for some of you, this conversation with this person has brought some healing, this reconciliation. Some of you, this conversation will help some, bring some of this healing. So, yeah, the star, the healing, two of swords. So I feel this information is giving you information about things you didn't see or didn't notice. Two of swords. swords. But it also is showing you how it's also kept you stagnant in your life. High priestess, yeah, holding on to certain things. But intuitively, you knew that you you knew i you know high priestess shows up there is an awareness always of the things that we experience but yet we we kind of block ourselves with the two of swords and maybe unwilling to see so give me this high priestess knight of wands and the king of pentacles so like, this is taking action so maybe you could have been dealing with a fire sign or Ezekiel sag um or taurus Virgo, capricorn but i just feel this is you taking action, seeing things for what they are now and stabilizing your life on a, on a material level, King of Pentacles. You know, Ace of Cups starts again. So it's taking ownership of your heart again with the Wheel of Fortune and really taking care of yourself. This is more about the self-love, the healing to you. And so your intuition is definitely speaking um, a lot. You know, High Priestess, it's the third eye. You could see it in dreams, synchronicities, just things that may have taken place. And more this Nine of Cups. Wow. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy is very strong here. Um, but Nine of Cups, I really just think this is you. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. I think this is about your pursuit to your stability because so much we're strong in pentacles here. Obviously, the focus is ten of pentacles. So this is about stabilizing yourself. It truly is redeeming of time. So once you stabilize the emotion, nine is the hermit energy. And that's the focus on us. And also we gain wisdom. Like I said, your hermit energy is in, it's when you are informed based off of your experiences. And in this case, about your emotions and you know really increasing your value with this three of pentacles knowing your worth and then focusing and shifting your energy on your king of pentacles like we have here like taking action to be able to stabilize your life again and um correct i feel like correct certain past mistakes for yourself nine of pentacles is the pursuit of dreams right um also who you offer your cup to and also dating who you date um because right we're calling in a soulmate but you know you're not trying to repeat the past either so give me this discontent and boredom you know for a while um it's just the suitors haven't been quite fitting you, what you're looking for or if it almost has a remembrance and that's what i'm feeling with this four of cups oh my god yeah I'm not even looking. Knight of Swords and the Lovers. So, and then we have the Fool here. So, the discontent is that certain suitors have the remembrance of past energy. And so, you don't want to have this. It's a matter of not repeating this Nine of Swords fleeting energy. And so, you have to embark and take the leap, though, in this change. But it really is entirely up to you. Virgo, for some of you, this ex you're talking about, like you already know it's a fleeting energy and it's only going to lead to um, breadcrumbing with the lovers where they're only going to be able to invest sexually or something to that nature. And again, to me, this is a test of because it's 
in this case, you're the one sitting in this Four of Cups energy, right? If this is an ex, if this is an ex, then there's obviously going to be disappointments with this person. So it's it's a matter of questioning: Do I do I really want to revisit this connection, um, or start something new? Call in a new soulmate. Give me more on this pool. Yeah, justice and the sun. You have to commit to this change and your happiness with this fool energy. I mean, these are three major arcanas, so this is major. This is a true test. Judge a jury. You know, the universe is presenting you um, an opportunity to truly change your your connections, the paradigm, shift the paradigm of relationships in your life. So definitely been a theme for you for some time in my readings work. So let's see what's the blockage here. What's the blockage? You know, this is about turning things to a positive direction and truly calling in a soulmate, really sticking to the change and the healing journey you have gone, right? The path. It's it's a empowering journey. It's not just healing, but healing is also about empowering ourselves. So what is the blockage here for Virgo? Okay, that's a lot of messages, but we're going to take them. So we have senses. Use your intuition and sensitivity to inform yourself. I mean, I keep... That's exactly what I keep saying. Like, I know there's information. Your emotions are information. So please use those senses. You guys know what's coming in. Say no. No is a full sentence. Stop explaining. I think this is, again, a test of your boundaries and knowing when to say no versus saying yes. And empath. Yep. A lot of you are empaths. Virgos, majority of the Virgos are, and your extra sensitive soul is both a blessing and a curse. And at this point, we need to, as an empath, we need to take ownership because empaths can easily become victims and, and remain mentally a victim. So understanding that it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, it it's empowering because then you know how to use and how do you give your energy um, which that's what I'm saying. That reading, I think, guys, take it out. It, I, I titled it Masculine Feminine Energy, something like that. But it was about our, our empathic ways of giving of ourselves more than we need to that create codependent relationships, but also mirror back our codependent behaviors, right? Which is what we have, codependency. Um, so I feel this religious factor is definitely to change a lot of that internal struggle you guys may have um, dealt with withered let go of the old and outdated yeah because it's it doesn't serve you and even old ways and i think again that's the test testing whether you're willing to really change things and see it see the behavior and the patterns as outdated and gratitude and attitude of gratitude will transform your paradigm and like i said this is a paradigm shift in your relationship so um, just being more in a state of gratefulness versus falling into some level of victimhood. And so, because if we fall into this state of victim, then we're not grateful. We just feel like everyone wants to hurt us. And so therefore we don't see the lessons, right? We're not taking the information. Our intuition is trying to show us emotionally because as an empath, that's how the senses come in. You're sensitive. You have information, but there's power in this information. Um, and that's where you have to see what you need to let go. So um, let's see what guidance we have for you, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? This is exactly how you get to redeem yourself. Reflection, yeah, stand still, watch what you're doing and who you are becoming. Only when we see ourselves, how we truly are is when we can change things. And this is this is what I'm saying. It's a mirror. Whatever's coming up is a mirror. It's it's really challenging and testing you. Like only when we see ourselves, how we truly are is when we can change things. So there are things that, you know, this space is going to show you um, about, you know, you and your patterns and, and, you know, the outcomes and results of things. All right, so let's get one more guidance for you, Virgo.
moonlight. I bathe in moonlight and, and she whispers that everything will be okay. At this very moment, I'm right where I need to be. Yeah. And so don't stress too much because... Again, Virgos, you guys can be very much in your mind and overactive mind. And um, the things that the moon, this cosmos, anything that's being shown to you, everything will be okay at this very moment. I'm right where I need to be. Understanding that you're still right where you need to be in terms of this reflection. But this is also a time to to rest and really see things and let allow your heart to really... Um, heal but again empower this is about empowering yourself and no longer falling into um or diving into the regrets of our own patterns and behaviors you know causing us more stagnation stalemate energy to a swords so um i'm gonna leave it there Virgo. i love you please like share subscribe